Hi everyone, welcome to Azibarel YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, I have an announcement. Today will be our 30th video, which is quite cool. So, I've reviewed about 30 different video types. I have some videos that are single, single cams, and some that are versus series. So, I haven't gone through all the analytics yet, so I don't know which one does better. But we're celebrating our 30th video, so yay! Right, I'm gonna put fireworks somewhere on the screen, yeah? Alright, cool. So uh, today, we're going to review a drink called Kickapoo Joy Juice. I don't know if anybody's here heard of it, but I've, been, I've seen this drink. I've also been drinking this drink since I was small, so I guess it's a Malaysian staple. So I'm just going to show you the can. Alright, so this Kickapoo is from this company called Etika. Uh, Etika is just a distributor that brings it to Malaysia, right? So they have a ton of other drinks that they bring to Malaysia. So I'll just show you this is the Kickapoo Juice. Joy juice, yeah. So it, um, as you can see, the top part actually writes, uh, "dapatkan kick" means get your get your get your kick, get a kick or something like that, right? Because it's Malaysian, right? So the Malaysian brought it in, so that's why they write it like that. Um, just a little bit background about. Well, okay, before that, so you've seen the kickapu, joy juice, right? It has this tribal people on this, on the cans, which is quite. I've never knew why they had that. So, we're going to find out today. Um, let's start off. So, this Kickapoo Joy Juice has 34.7 grams of sugar. So, this has more than what you need. More than half what you need. I think it's about 60% of what you need of sugar per day. So, it's a lot of sugar. Yeah? Alright, so, um, let's see. It's apparently citrus flavor as well. And Etika is the owner of the rights. So, you can see, I guess. Etika, right? Okay, so... Before we start, so fun fact, okay, so Etika in Malaysia, right, so it's a group of companies, it's a group of companies that has under their brands, Pepsi, Revive, Mountain Dew, uh, Mirinda, Kickapoo, Tropicana, uh, Lipton, and as well as Wanda Coffee, so they have a lot, including they also have Dairy Champ, um, they have Gatorade under them, uh, Mirinda, they have Chill, they have Sting, and they're so blue, they have an Everest. I've never tried Ever... Everest. Everest? Okay, anyway. So, cool. So, let's try this couple. It's actually quite nostalgic for me. So, it's quite nice to have a 30th video to be something more nostalgic. Alright. Uh, I miss... I, I, if you know, my recently, my last four videos are about juice drinks from a bottle. They don't have that, that sound that you, when you open it. Right? So, let's have... Let's hear the sound today. Right? So good, eh? Okay, that's a good sound for a drink to open a can. It's just so satisfying. All right, so let's pour it out. Okay, well, it did write a citrus flavor. So, what what is citrus? Let me just check. Okay, um, let's just check. So, first hand, I guess I can see. It's actually green color as well. So let me just go to citrus fruit. What is citrus? Oh, citrus is like a fruit that looks almost like an orange. So apparently it's green in color. I guess green, yellow in color. So I'll put the picture of the citrus somewhere on the screen right about now. Right, picture of fruit, right? Okay, um, smell, it smells great. It's very nostalgic. I've been drinking this one since I was small. I don't know whether this is a good idea or not, but I've been drinking it since I was small. So, all right. Um, as you as usual, we're gonna rate it by three different categories. The first category is packaging, and then the second category is taste, and then it's uh, and then it's price. So as for the first category, packaging, I think this is a great packaging to be honest. It has a lot of things to look at. So for as a packaging, it has a lot of things to look at. So you can see. Two guys here holding a, re a, a bottle of I, what I assume is the Kickapoo Joy Juice. Right? And also there's apparently a bathtub or a... I don't know what it is. But it's... I find... I get... This is actually quite a really nice can. So... Even like its original recipe and everything. If I saw this on the shelf, I'll definitely pick it up. Right? So for packaging, I'll definitely give it three. For taste, let's have a taste. The smell. Very citrusy. Let's have a taste. Hmm. It's not how I remember.
remember it though. It tastes more to 7up. So for this, I'll give it a 2. Alright, it, it doesn't have the strong kick as assume what it says. Get a kick, right? As a 7up, so I'll give it a 2. As for the price, the price is about $2.50. So it's about 90 cents USD. It's a little bit more pricey than a Pepsi, so the price as well, I'll give it a 2. So that's it, guys. So as a recap, the first is packaging is 3. Price, uh, takes is 2. And price is 2. So as a total of 7 points out of 9. That's not so bad. Okay, guys. That's another review. Alright, wait, before that. Okay, sorry. Kikapu Joy Juice facts, right? Kikapu Joy Juice was it's a secret favorite soft drink. It was created in the 1965, right? So apparently in Wikipedia, it shows that it's closest to Mountain Dew. Maybe I'll review Mountain Dew for the next episode, yeah? And um, it's named after this... Well, named after... A fictional beverage inside a comic strip of Lil Abner. So, I'll just put a link of the fact in the description as well so you can see. And just googling Kickapoo actually shows me to a link of a Kickapoo people. So apparently it's a Native Americans and indigenous Mexican tribe. So it's American people apparently. So cool. Something you learn every day. Alright guys. Thanks for watching the video. It's a bit longer today seeing that we're celebrating 30, the 30th video, right? Cheers guys. See you in the next video. If you like my video, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.